Hello YouTube. Today I'm showing you how to um, upgrade Kden Live to version 0 0.76 since the version that comes with Ubuntu 9.10 is uh, a little bit buggy and I experienced some problems with video and audio. Um, this is the way to uh, fix that problem. You know, my problem with the audio was that it was a little bit uh, choppy and static noise and the video was um, yeah some were greenish and the uh, some others were uh, kind of encrypted looks a little bit cryptic so and to fix that problem we got to upgrade to version 0.76 and um, to do that we're clicking on system administration and then software sources and then we have to add a new source to the to the list so click on the tab other software click on add and then we have to add um, this following line <coughs> PPA colon sun app slash PPA we click on add source so now it shows up right in here click on close and then it will ask you to reload or close when we say reload this takes a few seconds and when that reload is done the new Kden Live 0.76 is available to download and install and this this update basically fixes at least in my case, the problems with the video. Well, almost done. So when that is uh, finished here, we gotta go back to system. administration and then we start the synaptic package manager that should show up here in a second and then we click on search Search, and then we're looking for Kden Live. And then we should have three new sources available. And we're going to install all three of them. Just right click them and mark them for installation. Click here on mark. And then we install also the debugging symbols. That is very helpful to generate a debug report in case you have experienced any problems and wants to send out a debugging report. And then we'll click on apply. verify here that it will install all three modules and then we click on apply again and since I downloaded it earlier already the installation shouldn't take that long now here you can see the progress the installation you can also uh, click on details to see if you're interested what's going on and then 
Now we're done, click on close. And then there's another problem. I figured out how to fix because of my audio was so uh, staticky and noisy. So we click on search again. And then we're looking for lip SDL 1.2 Debian dash holds audio and click on search. here if you, there we go and since I already uh, downloaded and installed it but you would go ahead and make a right click here and then basically say uh, mark for installation and then we're good to go so then we close that out and then we go ahead and start Kano Live and then we have to uh, change one little thing in there as well so that we'll use the make use of the pulse audio. So I'll start Kano Live. I have to excuse you, my computer is a little bit slow when I start recording in full screen mode. Computer is a little bit seasoned. Come on. There we go. And then we go to settings. Configure Kaden Live. Playback. And then click on audio driver and change from automatic to pulse audio. Apply and OK. And that's all you have to do. And you shouldn't have any major problems anymore with your Kn Live installation. Happy video editing and I hope it helped. Please subscribe to my blog. I will post the link here on my YouTube channel and um, I'm always open for comments.